Hello, how are we doing? Welcome back, happy Sunday. Let's start. Apologies for no video last week. Uh, I feel like you folk know me, you know me already. And yeah, I just felt like last week we needed a little break. I think I had done like six or seven weeks of videos in a row and for me, that is quite good. <laughs> yeah, and I just spent a lot of time on my phone and on my laptop and I just felt like perhaps we need a little break. We need a little break from social media um, and from filming and things like that. But we are back, we're back this week. And uh, you can tell that I have missed YouTube last week because it's actually Monday. It's Monday already. Um, and I am getting my shiz together for this week, for this Sunday's video. I actually have a couple of quite busy weeks coming up. So um, obviously I want to keep you folk in content. So I wanna have a couple of videos filmed that I can put up. There is two quite exciting projects coming up in the next couple of weeks as well, but I'm sure you will know more about them whenever I can tell you. But today, as I said, it's Monday and we are going to sort this corner out. Let me just flip you around and tell you what's happening. Okay, so this is the corner at the bottom of the calf house. If I spin round, we have, oh, where's my finger? We have a heifer in the calving pen um, and then we have a couple of pens of calves. We have our individual pens. Um, we have our little sink, we calf kitchen that you all liked the last time. But this, this is the bottom corner. This is the forgotten corner. Um, but we have a little idea of how we can use this. Okay, so the way that this shed works, we're obviously currently at the bottom of the calf house. The calf house backs onto the milking parlor. And then obviously there's a big collecting yard. I'll spin you around and you can see all this too. And there's a big collecting yard and then we have the cow cubicles. Now at the far side of the cow cubicles, there is another row of cow cubicles where all the dry cows go. And obviously the dry cows are the cows that aren't currently milking. They're on their holidays and they've been dried off and are getting ready to calve again and then obviously milk for another lactation. So with all that said, <laughs> um, the dry cows then are pretty much as far away from the calving pen as they can go and there really is no way of moving them as a batch closer to the calving pen so we have come up with this corner. So if you have a little look underneath uh, all of this mess currently, it will not be mess in a couple of hours, uh, there is actually a concrete slab poured in the corner and if you are in any way inclined you can probably tell what's about to come. I don't know why I'm being so dramatic and suspenseful about this. It's basically just going to be like a little raised rubber area that the cows can go up onto. They can obviously climb up onto here and lie up here, eat out there um, and then it just means that you can put like your close-up dry cow or cows um, into this little area and then literally they can go straight into the cabin pen there when the time comes and it means you don't have to walk a cow that is very close to the cabin all the way through the cows in like the main milking batch cow that is close to the cabin but not cabin doesn't spend a load of time in the cabin pen obviously then spend a load of time in the cabin pen they're dunging in the cabin pen they're getting the walls dirty. I mean, the cabin pen's cleaned out between calvings anyway, but it just sort of helps to minimize the amount of dirt, I suppose, that is gonna be in the cabin pen because it means the cows go in there within, you know, two or three hours before they calve, but that they are here for easy access.
Okay, so it's actually a couple of days later, as with farming, you don't always get all your jobs done the first day you try and set out to do them, but today is a miserable day. It is so wet and so windy, but it's actually been quite a good job. We didn't get it finished before this rain started because we have developed or discovered a problem. As you can see, it's all wet. It is soaking. So up here, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, so step back so hopefully you can see, but basically you can see the problem. Um, this is all ventilated tin, which is obviously a fantastic job for ventilation, especially in the summertime, but not so good when the rain is hitting that side of the shed. Um, and it's just blowing up in through the holes in the tin and straight down. So we've got to get something to block that, but still let the air in. jumper um, but it absolutely lashed all day yesterday we didn't get these um, plastic sheeting finished because they just were blowing everywhere but got them secured this morning everything is dried out thank goodness you can see this is why uh, we don't like putting cows into cabin pens too early I now have three cows over two cabin pens and uh, yeah they make everything very dirty so this is why I really like to put cows in calving pens like maybe two or three hours before they actually calve. They went in there last night uh, just as a precaution but now we're going to put them over here. Um, I will show you it all, bedded it with, um, it's called sanitized bedding, it's like an anti-back powder and then a little bit of sawdust over the top and hopefully they will be very comfortable in there. As I said before they can lie any direction that they wish. Um, and then we will clean these cabin pens out and they will just get to go to the cabin pen whenever they are on top of calving and then they can start making their little nests in the straw and get on with the job themselves. So I'll show you this and then that is me done. Thank you very much for watching as always. It means the world um, and I will see you in my next one.